Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk specifically about the recall command, arguably one of the most important commands you're going to teach your dog. Not just uh, for every dog it's important, but for sighthounds it's specifically important. As I've spoke about in other videos, these dogs can't be off leash. They're very independent, and if you know they they just like to go. So having a good recall command, or at least a way to get your dog's attention and have them come back to you is is very very important before i go into that another subject has come up and this this has been throughout the the videos that i've done uh one of the only i would say health problems with borzois associated with them is bloat and as i've said in other videos it's a preventable thing you have to just space out meals and their size to prevent it uh, but one thing that we got for Aura, and I don't think I've featured this in a video before, is actually a slow eater. I got this off of Amazon, and what it does is you put her kibble in here, and all, actually all her food in here, and it, it slows down the rate at which she eats. Now, I have two diametrically different dogs. Esper doesn't like to eat. I know it sounds ridiculous for dogs. She just does not, so we've not had to use this sort of device for her. Aura will inhale her food. So we got this to kind of slow her down and make it so, you know, that she's not um, she's not engorging herself too much so she doesn't get hiccups, she doesn't get tummy aches, that sort of thing. As you can see, Aura is getting huge. She is six months. She's starting to get a lot of her adult fur. You can see all these little cute little things. In the next month or so, she's going to lose almost all of her puppy coat and she's going to get that beautiful, luxurious dog fur. You can see it's all over her tail now. She's the cutest. So the recall command. Again, this is just the basic come here command. Um, and luckily with Aura being so treat motivated, it was easy to get her to get used to the come here command. However, the dog breed is a very, very, very independent dog. And even now, sometimes you ask her to do something and she'll just look at you like, there's no way in hell I'm going to come over there. So it's about making it fun. And one game that we found, we read about it online, that works really well is you have to have two people and you essentially have the dog just go back and forth between two people. Just come here, come here, come here, come here. But rewarding every single time. It's kind of like... It's just like a hyperactive amount of, of the command over and over and over. It's like a drill, and it works extremely well, and it's really fast-paced. It's like, it's like running back and forth between two people. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. So this is something I didn't any, know anything about, but I recommend it now. It's worked really well, and now her, her come command has gotten, her recall command has gotten um, much better. Even like dog parks and distracted places were able to get her attention, were able to get her to come here. One thing I'd like to touch on, and this is hopefully something that you never have to deal with, but if your dog gets off leash, and this is something, I don't know if it's particular with Borzois or with all dogs, but as your panic level rises, so your so does your dog. So if your dog were to slip off a leash, if you just start losing it and running at your dog with your arms out, the likelihood of the dog running away from you is actually greater. So the more that I've read, the more that I've heard, the recommendation really is to stay calm, drop down, and go to your recall commands. So part of why I would recommend drilling, not just for you, or not just for the dog, for you, these recall commands. So in a situation like that with panic, you can go to your own regime of like, okay, I come down, I say come here, I maintain that positive sort of attitude, and your dog more, way more likely to return to you. If you chase your dog, they will run away from you. And this is something that's so counterintuitive, especially as, you know, I just think you just want to run and grab your dog and put him back on the leash. So th this is something that counterintuitive that you have to learn. It's, it's an emergency skill, but I think learning the recall command and teaching yourself how to be calm in that situation, if it were to happen, is a great idea. One way to practice this uh, is take your dog to a dog park or an open leash fence area with a leash on and 
stimulate that situation happening. Either they get off a leash, you let them off leash or have them kind of break free and then work on your recall command in that sort of situation with distractions, you know, with other things. This is this is preparation for you as much as it is your dog. So that's what I really wanted to touch on today. Uh, thank you guys again for all the support. Got more content coming. I, uh, I put up my uh, video that I made, which is a science fiction pilot that I wrote. I know it's not dog content, but people have really seemed to like it. And I, I really appreciate everyone's support. Oh, I know. I'm almost done. I promise. As you can see, she's waking up for her nap and we're, we're headed to the dog park pretty soon. But thank you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe out there. Bye.